Even the freezing cold driving rain couldn't deter these fans as they descended on Ferguson Park to get up close and personal with the FIFA Women's World Cup. We are so, so excited to be here today and we're so happy to be sharing um, this special moment with the FIFA Women's World Cup original trophy. One, two, three. Women's football is a movement. This tournament is going to change the minds of some girls who play other sports. With just one month to go until the opening ceremony in Auckland, Wotomotai Football Club was lucky enough to host the Tauranga leg of the official trophy tour. Families lined up to pose for a picture with the cup that will be lifted by the winning team on August the 20th. The opportunity to actually see something that's going to be travelling around the world and going to be watched by people all around the world, just to come to Little Old Town, it's huge, yeah. Is this a big deal for your kids? Yep, they've been um, to a few football games, but this is the first, we're going to the first one in Auckland. I've always been a big fan of football, and this is kind of a one once in a lifetime opportunity for me, and it really excited me that it was really close to our home. And are you looking forward to the tournament starting? Definitely. It's going to be quite exciting for me. Who's going to win? England, New Zealand or Australia. Good choices. It's a really cool opportunity for the people of Tauranga to see what's about to hit their shores and to pop over to over the Kaimais and, and see some amazing football. And a lot of people have come here to see the trophy, to see what it's all about and just really inspire them to get along to see this amazing event. Who just signed your football? Um, some of the uh, famous football players. And are you looking forward to the World Cup? Yeah. Who's going to win? Uh, New Zealand. The women's tournament is expected to be watched by a global audience of around 2 billion people. 32 countries are coming down here. It's, it's played in 206 countries. The impact that this kind of event can have on this generation, the next generation, in your own country, to be able to see it and feel it and hear it and be in those stadiums and see these amazing athletes is, you can see it, so you can be it. I didn't have that growing up. When I was growing up, I had the Men's World Cup, and that's what I aspired to, but I knew I couldn't get there. But all of a sudden, in 1991, the first inaugural Women's World Cup happened. I was 15 years old and that inspired me to carry on because all of a sudden I could make a World Cup. 1996, all of a sudden I could be an Olympian in that sport. For one Kiwi Swedish family, the competition can't start soon enough. I don't think that uh, the majority of Kiwis realise how big this is. We'll be going to the Hamilton, um, Sweden, Argentina game and we'll also go to the semi-final in Auckland. The World Cup's like the best, um, the best football playing um, teams in like the whole world, and then we get to go see it. It's just amazing. I never actually went to a big football game before, and I am excited for it. I'm excited to see who wins. It's so excited. And what team do you support? Sweden! The official trophy tour started in one of the host cities, Hamilton, before making stops in Tauranga, Taupo and Rotorua. This is the biggest female sporting event in the world. Um, we've got an estimated 2 billion viewers watching this tournament. It's all about inspiring young girls and females in sport, like reach your goals, achieve your dreams and yeah, the amount of people that we got to here today is fantastic. But if you want to touch the trophy, you're out of luck. You're only allowed to touch it if you've won it. The original FIFA Women's World Cup trophy comes with its own team, so they travel around the world with the trophy. So it's got security and then managers. Even the official mascot came along for the ride. We've got our mascot here today as well, Tazuni. So she is the penguin, so she resonates with both Australia and New Zealand as the blue penguin. Five games will be played just 90 minutes away from Tauranga at Hamilton's Waikato Stadium. For match schedules and ticket details, check out hamiltonhostcity.co.nz. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.